How's it going? This is uh, pick blocking from scratch. And um, a lot of people talk about pick blocking, and I think a lot of people are afraid of pick blocking, and I think that's kind of silly. I think that uh, um, everyone should at least try to incorporate pick blocking. Um, this instrument is really hard to play clean, and so we need to use any form of blocking we, we can to try to clean things up. And uh, personally, I don't know how I could play if I didn't pick block. I, I need to use pick blocking. Now the concept is that you're using your finger picks to stop the, the, the notes. And uh, what that does is uh, it cleans things up and you can block kind of quicker and you can also with if you're just using your pawn to block you kind of have to block all the strings or none of them and uh, this way you can block out certain strings but not all of them at the same time so if I'm doing something like I have no idea how I could accomplish that at all if I didn't pick that so um, I thought well we need to make this simple for people to learn because um, it's really one of those kind of scary words that people throw out there and uh, it goes, oh, I don't, I don't want to do that. Well, I thought I'd come up with a list of exercises that you can do to kind of start training yourself to pick block. Now, um, blocking is, is a tricky thing because you need to, it requires a lot of thought and a lot of, uh, a lot of work, but then when you're learning a song, you've got enough to think about you really don't want to think too much about the blocking while you're trying to learn a song because uh, it's just overwhelming. So what you want to do is get this pick blocking and palm blocking for that matter to just be part of your playing and um, a real natural part of your playing. So I came up with a list of 12 exercises here to kind of start training your hand so that, um, so that when you go to learn a song you don't have to think about the pick blocking. You've done your work and your hands are automatically doing that. That's just how you're getting sound out of the instrument. So that's the idea here. That's the concept. And um, if you go through these exercises, I think you'll find that it's not, it's not as overwhelming as, as, as people might lead you to believe. Um, so I think learning to pick block is really important. Um, my pick blocking might not be exactly the same as somebody else's pick blocking. So, uh, you know, I do a lot with uh, the bar hand, the left hand, uh, with my left thumb and with my uh, fingers behind the bar to uh, help out with my blocking. And, um, you know, you're always using combinations of things too. So it's not just like, I block this way, you block that way. No, we all block, you know, it, every situation is a little bit different, but you're basically using all of these tools to get a clean sound. The main thing here is that you have a hold of the guitar. So if you look at my right hand, before I start playing, I've kind of got the guitar. You know, I don't need to, um, right there, if I, there's nothing gonna ring until I pick. And I come back down on it. So, um, I don't know, I'm just playing whatever, but uh, the idea is that um, I'm not just floating over top of this thing. I've got it. I've got the guitar in a grip. So uh, it's important to kind of kind of have, have a good grip on this guitar and um, enable you to play cleanly. So. Hopefully, go through these exercises, and then at the very end, you go ahead and play a song. And um, this will kind of get you started with the pick blocking so that uh, you're not too afraid of it anymore and you understand what it is. So um, good luck with this. I hope you have fun with it, and I think everyone should pick block. Um, so um, get to work. All right. Thanks for watching.